All right, it's time to take the Burlington Northern to Bozeman. But first, check on the couples. You may not know this, but Ring is also a marriage counselor. Uh oh. Well, he's not about to find out the sweater, but he is going to find out something else. Your corpse. It's too early in the morning for us to be dark. All right. You know, maybe he just told him. Yeah, he does know everything. Getting a little worried. Puddings. I don't have puddings. I'm gonna buy puddings. Also, I forgot to mention in the previous episode. While you weren't looking, I bought... What did I buy? Come on now. Work? Oh my goodness. I have now all the copies of Red Moon Rose. I don't know if there are any more than eight. I think there are more, but... I just saw him carrying that particular issue. Like, you know what? Why not? Beginning of a beautiful friendship. Gaius, what do you think? Wait, where is oh I says <laughs> where's Elliot? He's actually in our group. He's a ninja. Alright, I'm tired of this. Let's go do the thing that we're supposed to do. That we gonna do. Thought about fishing. But it's okay. The fish are bigger also in both. We're going to the fields. I'm curious whether I want to go to... You know what, that's okay. Because uh, if we're going to bows, there will definitely be places for us in terms of uh, changing of courts and stuff. This makes me feel like there's a quest somewhere that's hidden. I don't know if I want to explore more, but you know what? I am not going to. Because if I want to find it, it involves me running around the entire university. I am not about to do that right now. I want to get to the second game. Also, I forgot to... Yep, she's here. I forgot to change my equipment and stuff. Then again, this is basically the same party that we brought into the dungeon last time. She's actually a demon. You can just draw a circle and pentagram on the ground she'll pop up. And she's like, would you like some tea? It's really hot. For one second, I thought Emma was going to be the guide. Yes, Master Yusus. You would like some tea. This is our special blend, called Ducifer. Get it? It's a dew and Lucifer put into the same word. Sharon will never make a joke like that. I think I remember this. It's a bird. No, fee. That's not how you started this thing. You have to say it's a bird first. Or is it a bird?
It's a bird. <laughs> Crow. Not often he gets. He gets taken aback. Crow seems like a man of an infinite preparation. You know, whenever you see somebody super laid back, it's not because they don't care. It's because they've made all the necessary preparations and they don't have to care. Forgot what this ship is called. The Glorious? It's not the Crimson Arc, because the Crimson Arc is the same color, but it belongs to our good old friend Ouroboros. By the way, wait, which we have not seen very much. Let's get yet. You can't go through an entire game without showing Ouroboros. <laughs> Poor Machius. Everybody's like, oh, that's kind of cool. Machia's like, what? Crow is the same way. Cut to Milliam and then Lammy on side. Lammy just has her mouth open. <laughs> Very sharp political commentary. Except it's red. <laughs> Remember this. Probably you're going to be on a quiz somewhere. That's 75 meters. <laughs> Can't quite see what the symbol is on the very top. It looks like a bracer symbol, but it's not, of course. It's a horse. Very, very vaguely a horse. His face has seen better days. Should have used those moisturizers when he was in the 20s. Now, if you will recall, uh, during the Trails and Sky games, the Empire was getting two engines airship engines shipped from the bro my beautiful friends it's only been 10 days since last we met but i couldn't keep myself away i couldn't either so i wonder if one of those uh, engines is actually on this airship because they did get it prince oliver and major vander he doesn't get a voice <laughs> Your slack-jawed amazement says it all. It looks like this will be quite the crowd-pleaser during its grand unveiling in Heimdall. Wait, what grand unveiling? Man, I don't even know what's going on anymore. I wonder where they got this thing built. Who may you be referring to? Uh, guys. It's been quite some time. I see many familiar faces gathered here today, and several I've yet to have the pleasure of meeting. It's not Cassius. Is that? I know that voice. Look what happened to him. He was like, I'll dooly dooly, and then he went away, and then he came back with a silly hat. The Radiant Blade Master? That's a really silly hat. Father! So that's Laura's dad? Who's the one now? <laughs> He's a keep up with the program. And look, Tobol's with him too. 
What are you doing up there? And what's with the hat? Yes, a excellent question, Laura. Let me point out that he is the only person around here that wears a hat. <laughs> so that's what this is about. Ah, uh, they knew something too. <laughs> I'll fill you in all the details another time. What in the name of Adios is that? Hey, Patrick. Wow, what a pretty ship! It's an airship, Toa. This thing's a real piece of work. Yeah, okay, let's put a sidecar on this, too. Incredible! And I've heard about the specs, but the numbers don't do it justice. It looks even better alive than on paper. You know what, George? Nobody cares about you. Principal Van Dyke? You too? <laughs> Are you gonna comment on the airship as well? Um, could someone fill us in on what exactly is going on here? <laughs> Your bafflement is quite understandable. And I love it! The chairman of the board proposed a change to your travel arrangements for this month's field study. He's agreed to deliver all of you to your respective destinations aboard this airship. And then, you jump! What? We'll be riding in style. He's mainly taking it on its maiden voyage to unveil the ship to the nation. We're just kind of along for the ride. You'll be headed to the capital first, but from there, it'll be a straight shot to Ruhr. I keep saying both, but it's actually Ruhr. <laughs> I was like, what the? I knew there's something wrong with what I'm saying. Well, I'm not sure what to say. Both is, a of course, a city in Labrall. Oh, this is all so sudden. I think I need to sit down. Well, should we be off, Your Highness? Yes, that sounds marvelous. Yes, funny man with a funny hat. With that, let me be the first to welcome you, Class 7. Aboard the second Arcel Class High Speed oh, the courageous. Cruiser, okay. the Courageous. The Glorious, I believe, is the other Empire Air... I don't remember the names anymore. I just remember this one, the Arce and the Crimson Arc. The Crimson Arc is a real piece of work. But you know, there's still another engine out there. They made three engines total, the first one on the Arce, and then they shipped two engines to... to Erebonia. And I assume this thing only have one of the engines? I don't know. It's all, you know. Aliens are attacking! Everybody duck! What a shame. He's not even throwing flower petals anymore. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not sure why I found that so funny, but I did. Hey, poor people, look up! This is a place you'll never get to! Agonize! He's like, man, that's nothing compared to the Crimson Arc. Actually, you know what? I think... Hmm, I don't remember the timeline anymore. There's another airship under construction, but I forget. I forgot where the dimension was. Also supposed to be huge. Know something very interesting. The officers immediately assume that this is a competition. Meaning like this is just them against us. Even though they have no idea who that airship belongs to. I assume they don't, because this is definitely the Grand Alvalon. And if they knew this was from a prince, why would they assume that this is an enemy or adversary at least? My, what a spectacular sight! My brother 
mother told me all about it, but there's no substitute for seeing it soar through the skies. Simply beautiful. Yes, it really is. The girl behind her absolutely cannot believe it. Absolutely disgusting. <laughs> You're up there, aren't you, Rain? Excuse me? I'm still alive. Alright. This is the king and the queen. We never see their... We never see them very much. Do they get to talk? Wow! <laughs> That's so the look on That's the courageous! Oliver finally finished his airship! Oh, we do. They don't get any words. I still feel like there's something going on with the king. With the emperor, I mean. Well, this is the second time. He's done this once already to you. <clears throat> Can you believe it's been almost two years already? And look at how far our debaucherous prince has managed to come. He hijacked yet another airship. Partnering with Liberal to make a second Arcel class airship, then cruising over the capital? I suppose that's one way to stick it to you for outmaneuvering him at the trade conference. <laughs> Let him have his fun. Still, this was certainly an unexpected play on his part. He and that band of students he likes to ship across the country have proven a never-ending yep. source of entertainment. I think that sort of proves that Class 7 is definitely something that Olivia put together as a weapon against Osborne of sorts. But now, my dear Lizzo, we have reached a decisive point. Can I furrow my brows any further? The board has been prepared every piece in its place. Can you turn the tides in your favor? I look forward to finding out. My bet is that he can't. Osborne is far too... Is he trying to make an infinity sign? Osborne is far too calculated for this kind of stuff to bother him. And let's be honest, this doesn't really do anything. Flying a ship over, you know, the country, it's a cool stunt and everything, but it doesn't actually accomplish anything real. The more real thing is the people who are actually on the airship. I think that's his real thing. It's currently 10.02, and we have a north-northwesterly wind blowing in at a speed of 11 arch. We've just passed through the Schwarzdrake Barrier's airspace into the province of Nortia. Current speed is 3,050 SPH. We've reached full cruising velocity. South, that's south prow. Maintain current course and speed. Follow the Nortia main line, maintaining a distance of 200 arch. And I believe that converts to something like 30 kilometers per hour? Aye, aye, Captain. I think one cell just 100 art. So what's 100 meters? Thirty kilometers per hour. That's kind of slow, if you ask me. I mean, I can run faster than that. <laughs> Oh, well, they did just already exceed the top speed. They were at 30.50. Okay. She also mentioned high armor and interception abilities. What does that mean? Big guns, probably. <laughs> I love Fee.
Why is he wearing that silly hat? So that's her move. So basically, it's like a Bracer's Guild. Oh, please. At this point, we are the distinguished clue. Ugh, that's not gonna work. Not how people work, you know? They see the airship, like, oh, that's cool. And the next day, they're like, okay, that was cool. I don't know, I can't. I can't help but think this is all superficial. All right, we get to explore the ship. We're gonna make like a stell and then walk around and talk to people. The tradition of the series. And we'll do that starting next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.